Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, what? What's, what just came out from, what's underground right now? What is that? What's up, guys, and welcome back to Battle Cats. And for today's episode, I'm gonna start off by doing a level that I haven't actually seen before, Day of Judgment. I don't know if it's actually Christmassy explosion in the sky. It's probably not. I just figured, you know, Judgment Day, angels, we, we could kind of make it Christmassy, but there's a good chance that it's just a, a regular level that I might get ruined in. I'm gonna give it a try anyway because I love doing challenges in this game. I also don't know if it's an angel level or a floating level or both. So I've made a loadout with a little bit of everything. We have some anti-angel, we have some anti-floating, we have Bahamut that is just anti-anything that moves. So I think we should be able to handle anything that they throw at us. Yeah, it's just an insane level, right? We've done plenty. Oh, crap. I should have checked to see what the reward was. I never even thought of that because we might unlock a cool cat. Usually, if that was the case, the cat would be on top of this terrifying little base. Okay, we have an owl. We have another owl. So, floating. Alrighty then. I kind of just want to delay them for a little bit. Are you guys... You're gonna one-shot them. Okay, that's kind of rude, but I can feather them and then send out Valkyrie. She should make short work of this. Okay, and we actually brought Sadako Cat as well. She's anti-floating. So I think she's resistant to and weakens floating units. Kazajizo, again, I know he's technically like anti-angel, anti-black, but he's very much like Bahamut in uh, anti-living. Okay, um, that hurts a lot. Why are they so strong? <laughs> this is a good, he just like one-shotted Valkyrie. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. No, no, don't let them touch the base. Don't let them touch the base. How did this go wrong? How far is it get cannon? Oh, it's one of those levels. So we might want some more anti-floating. The problem being, I don't really have any more anti-floating leveled up. Like, I'd love to have Amyoji evolved. Sadeko could be a little stronger. Dark Merchant Babel. You're Angel slash Alien, but we're locking Pierre as Aliens and Floating. Interesting. So... I should probably take him. We didn't see any Angels, but I still feel like there might be some... I don't know, man. Okay, let's try it again, except for this time I'll blow a couple of consumables. We can bring something like Sniper Cat. Right, we'll bring Sniper Cat, we'll bring Rich Cat. I have like 45 of each of them. I don't think I've ever really done any of these Cyclone Insane stages, so that would kind of explain, oh, why I'm getting my ass handed to me. Right, so we just have maximum money right off the bat. Who do I want to get out as soon as possible? Probably Warlock and Pierre, honestly. <laughs> I feel like that makes sense. Maybe we can just... Uh, rush out you, right? You were good at delaying last time. Just feather them a little bit. And then that should give us just enough time to get you out. Yeah, you see, now that's gonna make a big difference because hopefully he could just one shot, yes, just one shot an owl. Oh, that makes a huge difference. So we should be stacking Sudeiko because I don't know how we're gonna do against that Cyclone. I don't feel good about facing off against it. Okay, we got Bahamut out there. Oh my god, Rich Cat makes such a huge difference. It's a world of difference. Now, get rid of these moths before we have to deal with that stupid cyclone. Yeah, good freeze. Very good. We're gonna send out Wolf Child, Wolf Princess, whatever. And I think we got everything going for us. This is as good as it's gonna get. That is really cool. <laughs> that is a very neat enemy. Okay, please, please don't hurt me. Please, yes, good freeze. Yes, okay, I like it, I like it. Where's the cat cannon at it? I should probably be doing that more often. I should just be stacking everything. I have infinite money. I just send everything out at once, right? Just all the meat shields. Oh crap, everything's dead. Everything's dead. Oh no, 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 we were so close. Maybe, I don't actually know. 
<laughs> Come on, sniper. Oh, crap. There's more than one? Was I even close? I wasn't even close. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that that's a defeat. I, I honestly don't think there is anything I could bring that would fix this. We will return to the Day of Judgment once I get some spammable cats, because I get the feeling if you rely on Ubers for that, they just get blown up. And you need spammable cats because at least when they get blown up, you can replace them kind of thing. So I'll work on that, won't forget that defeat, and I kind of need to open a Christmas gal to make myself feel better. So maybe we could get a uh, Yuletide nurse, Christmas nurse, sexy nurse, or we could just get another level of rocker cat. Oh god, it's like a giant lump of coal right up my butt. Well, if we're not gonna be able to beat that Christmas level, then maybe we should try Jingle Cat Bell. Because like I showed you guys last time, I got all the way through this event up until Happy Merry Christmas, and I don't remember when that was, but it kind of terrifies me, because if I beat all of the others except for the last one and never actually got the reward, it's probably because this level wrecked me. But I feel like I'm stronger now, so we're gonna put on a treasure radar anyway and just go for it. Again, I don't know what we're unlocking. It's gonna be some kind of Christmas cat. But hopefully I'm well equipped for this. Maybe, okay, we got a, a lot of little men. What up, guys? Just gonna be hanging out, waiting for anything scary to come along. Okay, Cassages, though, you can uh, just dispense of them for me real quick. Black units, again, perfectly fine. Kaisa Jizzo does a great job against them. We're max level before getting to the base, so... Red. I didn't bring a whole lot of anti-red. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna send out a little bit of everything. <laughs> and pray for a Christmas miracle. Fire's a cat cannon, interrupt that. Does he have a little chicken wing in his hand? He's got like a turkey leg. Oh, oh! Oh! Is that the boss? Is that it? That's, um, yeah. So like I said, the reason that I, I can't remember this level is probably because I faced off against it a long, long time ago. Before I had any of these dope cats. Yeah, alright, we got reindeer fish cat. Reindeer fish cat. How does that work? Reindeer Fish Cat. The cats tried making the fish cat cuter. This one carries the gifts you dream of. More money earned when defeating an enemy. Ooh, that's a pretty rare ability. I think I've only seen that before in one or two other cats that I have. Interesting. See, I want to see what it evolves into, but I don't have any freaking experience. <laughs> I need to get back into grinding this game every weekend and just getting a million or so experience before I make an episode. So, I don't think there are any more stages that I really want to do. We've gotten the reward for Jingle Cat Bell, we've done it for Jolly Saint Nick, Day of Judgment is just gonna keep fisting me, so how about we go back and try more Cats of the Cosmos? Up first, we have Sirius, with the maximum number of deployable cats being 20. I feel like I tried this last time and lost? Is that right? The last time I was at Cats of the Cosmos, I got stuck on this? Ooh, that's kind of intense. All right. Oh, we have, uh, I don't know. Are those boobs or butt cheeks? Okay. Whoa! No, I definitely haven't done this before. I do not remember seeing a starred alien anteater. That's really cool! Did I bring a lot of anti-alien? Yeah, we have Marin Mizu. We should be... Uh, I'm not gonna say it. Every time I say it, bad things happen, so I'm just gonna stay cautious and try to save up enough money to send out probably Black Cat. Oh, crap. Even these regular little alien guys are difficult. All right, there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's very different. He's not doing the blah, 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 blah. He's doing more of a blah, blah, blah. I don't like that. I kind of regret not having Miramizu out right now. Kind of? I don't even really know, because Black Cat has longer range, so she's not getting hit, but Miramizu is resistant, so it doesn't really matter if she gets hit. Okay, let, let's just have both. Why not both? Feel, ooh, both is good. There's a knockback. The starred aliens are awesome. 
Really happy that they have new units in this chapter. Oh god, I really need to get around to evolving Castaway as well. He would be super useful. Bahamut, would you do anything here maybe? Anti-living? I think that thing is living. Oh, swing and a miss. Bahamut and Miramizu don't exactly mix. Far does it get kind of nuts the aliens? There we go. On. Die, die, I've killed all of your alien friends. <laughs> we're doing fine, okay? We're at parity, we're pushing them back. I feel like we've won the level, as long as there's not like 50 of these things waiting in the base. But, oh, don't, don't teleport Bahamut, that's rude, he's so slow. Okay, it's dead. We're, 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 we're okay, we're gonna be okay. I'm gonna say it, you know what? I don't care if I jinx it. Come on guys, pound those butt cheeks. See if there's anything hiding in there. Anything? Anything? Maybe? Couple of bum crumbs? No, we're good. I'll take it. 24,000 experience is the biggest thing, is I like that these levels don't cost a lot of energy, and we're getting at least some kind of reward out of them, because I definitely need experience. I have so much stuff to be leveling up in this game. I'm confused as to why I can't actually evolve Castaway Cat, because it says need total level 30 and cat fruit, his total level is beyond 30, right? His level is 28, but he has plus three. And I have the cat fruit necessary, but it says, oh, I need more experience to evolve him. It costs half a million just to evolve him. Oh my God, okay. Can I get half a million experience somewhere? Is the XP stage still going on right now? I'm willing to bet it is. It's gonna take all of my freaking energy to do, but... It'd kind of be worth it. No, it just ended. <laughs> it's going on like 10 minutes ago. All right, screw it. Moving on to Canopus with, uh, once again, the maximum number of deployable cats being 20. I know with that restriction, I probably shouldn't be using four meat shields. I probably shouldn't be using four meat shields all the time anyway. I just, I'm accustomed to it. It's how I play now. I don't really feel like I need any, ooh, anything else. I wasn't even ooing at the metal unit, I was ooing at whatever the hell that is. Obviously did not bring any anti-metal with me, but as long as you're the only one, we might be okay. I can just kind of spam a little bit of everything. Right, yeah, we're fine. Metal units, as always, they don't really do a lot of damage, they just soak up a lot of damage. They're a delay. So we can just spam out a little bit of everything. I wanna start stacking King Dragon. Something I haven't really done a whole lot of in this game, so let's see if I can make that happen. Oh, more aliens. Maybe I should get Miramizu. Uh, let's just get Castaway out there for now. How are we doing, guys? That metal hippo still, nope, not causing us any trouble. He's gone. Miramizu, you can get out there. Blow up the aliens. Uh, I think that was a swing and a miss, but sure, why not? Part of the cat cannon. That works as well. Yeah, we're doing fine. We're doing, oh, I said it, I, I need to stop saying that. <laughs> Jinx it, every freaking time. We're at the max number of deployable cats as usual. So let's see if there's a boss, no. No boss, or maybe there was and that was incredibly quick. So it's just the, the hassle of getting through a metal unit. All right, we got an inferior keel. Is that what that thing is, a, a keel? Moving on to Vega with the condition of a deploy from row one only. Okay, that is gonna require some switching around. So we're probably gonna want you and you and you, I guess, right? We probably only need two meat shields. Should I bring, I'll bring the walls. Wallcat, Crazed Wallcat, Caster Jizzo, Castaway, and Marin Mizu. Should be all right. I don't want to take anything too big because I'm afraid that this is going to be one of those levels where they just rush you with stuff and then there's no chance of survival. <laughs> so at least this way, we stand a chance no matter what they throw at us. Yeah, you're not exactly in a hurry to get anywhere, are you, Tubby? Another thing at the top of my to-do list with experience is get Miramizu to level at least 25, maybe 30. I think it's only level 17 right now and it's already one of my best anti-alien Ubers. It just has so many freaking abilities. It's ridiculous that it has like every anti-alien ability in the game. Oh, black, good. Pesagizzo is anti-black and then that's like all we brought. 
who's anti-black and anti-alien. <laughs> Where does it get cannon at them? All right, I think this is in the bag, right? We should have this under control. Castaways, you're still getting in there. Castaway also just doesn't die. That's the thing. He's pretty strong as it is, and then he survives one lethal blow. I like it. Okay. Well, that was easy enough. Hopefully all of these levels moving forward aren't deployed from one row. That's no fun. We're gonna move on to Alberon, right out of the Star Wars system with row one, of course. This loadout worked for us last time, so I'm just gonna let it ride. Maybe they'll hit us with a bunch of angels and red units, but uh, oh, don't, don't do what I was theorizing. That's not okay. Little weak red unit. Anything else? No, okay, not that weak. Just tore through a crazed wall. Oh God, I hate it when they do that. <laughs> they surprise you by ramping up the difficulty of certain units. Oh, I might have made a mistake. They're not sending out a whole lot of stuff. I really don't want to be at their base already. I was kind of hoping to level up and save and, uh, okay. Well, we're going for it now. We're just, we're going full force. Everything is going out there. What do you mean red units? <laughs> Where's my apple? Uh, it doesn't even matter. Red units suck. We, uh, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Stupid penguin, get out of my way. I'm gonna touch your base. I'm gonna fire as he got to cut in and then I'm gonna touch your base. Can I do that? A little bit of base touching. Little bit, little bit. There we go. <laughs> Who needs a boss when you get an inferior bull? That's not very nice. I'm, I'm sure he has a lot of positive qualities. I kind of wish Cats of the Cosmos had time rewards because it just rains down rewards every time you play a chapter with him. I kind of understand why it doesn't because getting time rewards with a restriction would be pretty challenging. Probably impossible in some cases, but I don't know. I, I just, I, I miss getting extra cat food. I need 150 more cat food to be able to do an 11 drop. I would say around Christmas, they might have a guaranteed Christmas gal. So I'm probably gonna save for that. Oh, angels. Of course there's angels. They just did red and black and I, I need to be paying attention and changing up my loadout. But I, I think this is all right. Oh, Casagizzo's anti-angel, anti-floating. I can't remember. He's anti-something. He's okay, yep, he's definitely anti-something. So we're gonna find out if that's angel or not. Let's see, because that's a whole lot of aliens. Oh, I hate the scissor kangaroos. <laughs> <laughs> Miramisu saved me. Uh, oh, oh, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I think he is anti angel because he is just tearing them apart right now. Yeah, yeah. All right, we should be just fine. Like, I, I love Casagizzo so much. I've been leveling him up with my experience. He's level 28 now, I think, because I use him in every loadout. Just spammable Ubers in general. Unreal. We're gonna push him back by partisan Zikat Kanin. And hopefully touching the base. I think we're, yeah, there we go, okay. These levels aren't too difficult. We're getting, uh, you know, 30,000 experience each-ish. I definitely appreciate it. Now, moving on to Deneb. Ah, whoa, wait, 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 this is weird. Deneb doesn't have a restriction. And it's a giant goose. Why doesn't it have a restriction? This might be the halfway point of Cats of the Cosmos, in which case this might be some kind of like floating continent level from into the future. We have an obese underwater seagull. So that's a good start. They're currently spamming these big eyed freaks at me and Castaway is doing a lot of work against them. Maybe I'll send out more Castaways. I wanna save up enough money to get out something big because there, there has to be a boss for this level, right? There's no way that they just decided, eh, you know, no restrictions. Just let him have fun walloping these guys and then he'll quickly end the level. No, no, I, I, I refuse to believe it. So I think we're in an all right position now. Maybe one more thing of meat shields and then save up. Yeah, Miramizu first or Black Cat? Uh, I think I'm gonna go for Black Cat. A couple more meat shields, just a little bit. I really don't want to lose that dragon. Come on, freeze him. Freeze him, there we go. Okay, Black Hat is out. Mary Mizu is soon to follow. Something weird is gonna come out of this, right? Some kind of alien boss that I have never seen before. 
that is going to be a challenge. I want it. You know what? I love challenges in this game. Day of Judgment so far was the most fun I've had in this episode. <laughs> uh, ooh. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa. What? What's, what just came out from? What's underground right now? What is that? <laughs> it's like some kind of uh, alien Star Force mole. What? Oh my god, that is awesome! <laughs> I love him so much! Can I hit him with the cat cannon? He's bouncing around a lot. Okay, even though he's underground, he's technically still there, so we still hit him. That is a really cool enemy, and he keeps, like, flying up into the air and doing stuff. What does he do? Oh, he's dead. Is he dead? I can't tell. He might be underground. He might be underground because he's dead. Yeah, I think he's dead. Okay. <laughs> that was very interesting. We got a superior swan, and I am terrified to see more of those things moving forward. I think the final level for this episode is going to be Cosmic Lounge with the condition of special, rare, and super rare only. So no base cats, no ubers. I've already made the best loadout that I could come up with and I'm not super confident in it because it's just a mismatch of all of the cats that I've leveled up in all honesty. I have Masai Cat, who I haven't used before. I think he's a meat shield? I'm pretty sure he's a meat shield, but I'm not positive. Oh God, I really miss my Ubers. I miss Casajizzo, this isn't good. Okay, go Crazed Cow. Just, uh, I mean, in Crazed Giraffe, sorry. Oh, crap, 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 ow, 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 everything hurts, everything hurts, no, cast away, help, help, they're, they're touching the base, cast away, <laughs> I need to send out a little bit of everything, stop them, cast away, oh, he did it, he did it on command, all right, uh, why are there so many units, stop sending things at me, I'm not even, like, strategizing right now, I'm just sending out everything that's off cooldown, screw it, why is this such a small level? Oh my god. Okay, we have to get castaways out at all cost. They're the important ones. Anti-Angel, I don't have. They're really close to winning this. They're really close. Far as I can, I push them back, push them back, push them all back. There we go. Say yes, yes. That is what I needed. A little bit of Valkyrie in my life. <laughs> and ooh, 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 just kill something? Yes, Bahamut, okay. So we have our technically not Uber Ubers out there. That's gonna help a whole lot. Okay, yeah, I'm feeling quite relieved now. They just do not want to let this in. It's a bloodbath. We're both spamming so many units in such close quarters. It's a cage match. I haven't even leveled up yet. I've been too busy just barely surviving. Here we go, here we go. I think we're starting to make a little bit of headway. Moving forward, we got another Valkyrie. We can fire the cat cannon. Level up a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. We finally broke parody <laughs> and got the weird slug chip bag base. Woo! But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Battle Cats, guys. And I really wish I had the cats necessary to get through Day of Judgment. I I'm happy I tried it because, like I said, it was the most fun I had in this episode. I love facing a challenge. Maybe next episode I'll try to face off against other Cyclones. I know there's a level for each of them, and I could probably beat a black cyclone or a red cyclone or maybe an alien one if that exists. So if you guys know like when those happen or what they're called, then be sure to let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.